piano with Langan, and the title of my monologue is called Goldilocks Day in Court. But your honor, I've already told you everything that happened that day. I was just walking through the forest, it's a shortcut to the 7-Eleven store, and I came upon this cute little cottage. The door was open, so I peeked in and saw three bowls of porridge on the table. Frankly, I was hoping for steak, but this is a low-budget fairy tale. Now the first bowl of porridge was way too salty, and the second bowl of porridge was far too sweet, and the third bowl of porridge was just as lousy, which could be the reason why you don't see as many fast food porridge places around. But I ate it anyways. And yes, I confess, I later sat down in one of their chairs and broke it, but you try eating a bowl of cement mix and see how lightly you sit in your seat. Then I was feeling a little woozy and a little sore from the chair incident, so I decided to go upstairs and take a little nap. I picked the smallest out of their three beds because it was the most like my own, unmade, so I climbed in and fell fast asleep. And the next thing I know, I've got bear breath beating down on me. I opened my eyes to see Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear, all looking at me like I was going to be their next meal. And well, the rest is in the police report. But sir, you've got to believe me, I didn't mean any harm. And yes, I suppose what I did could be considered trespassing. And yes, I realize I should be held responsible for any damage done to the Bear family property. But sir, a $500 fine? That's way too steep. On my allowance, that will take me Forever! So that's it, huh? $500? I can't plead bargain. I can't throw myself on the mercy of the court. I can't remind you that I didn't, in fact, eat the bowl of porridge, right? Some judges might consider that punishment enough. <sighs> all right, all right, I'll pay the fine. And yes, Your Honor, I can honestly say that I've learned my lesson. The next time I carelessly wander into someone else's home, it's going to be someone who can cook.